Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing my uh, Clearasol Fast Fix Action Acne Cream, which is this, from, and this is their Ultra, or it's their Ultra uh, stuff version, and so I am going. It, I'm going to talk about this today. So it includes the fast action, no rapid action treatment cream, which is the little guy. It's this little guy, and I okay. And um, it includes. I've, bear in mind, I've already used some of this. Most of the stuff is like half full. Um, it includes acne cleaning, cleansing wash, it includes the revival toner, and the hydration lotion. Now, it tells you on here, like, in which, with the exception of this it actually tells you what steps to put it on and the first one you use step one you use the acne cleansing cleansing wash and this is what it looks like and it has this really cool locking thing so you can lock it and it won't squirt it out and this is like the one that cleans your pores it has it says Deep cleans pores and treats acne breakouts. Um, and it's an active ingredient is lake acid. So, for those of you who only use basic stuff, there's two basic things for over the counter. It's uh, salicylic acid and there's also um, benzoyl peroxide, which is in here. Um, And you use this first on your face, you scrub it in, or you can use your hands, or you could use a brush, one of those brushes, which I'm going to review next. Um, and you use this on there, I think it has little beads in there to help clean it, and it does a really nice job, it feels really great, and my face always feels clean and refreshed afterwards. Uh, I haven't really used a lot of acne things. I've got some breakouts here. Um, I haven't used this in a couple days because I really need to do try this. So I've been using just the clear other Clarisol stuff. And yeah. Um. The next step is the ultra reviving toner. I'm not exactly sure what the revival toner is supposed to do. Um. But this is step two, and basically, it has this really nice top on it, and you get a, like, cotton ball, or one of those circular cotton ball things that are flat, you sometimes use it for makeup, you use that, and then you just rub it on your face, and I, mean, I like the flat circular ones. And then, after that, I usually put on the rapid action treatment cream which is benzoyl peroxide 10 percent acne cream now with this stuff i'm not the biggest fan of like i it's a love heat relationship almost because the downside of this is that it smells like peroxide because that's what it has in it and um also it can dry out your skin if you don't use it properly or you don't use a good um a, like a moisturizer, uh, which I suggest that you use it after you've used this and before you used your moisturizer um, or your lotion. And I've found I, I mean I, I guess this is, this varies from person to person. So if you use it a different way, go ahead and comment below and tell me how you like to use this. Uh, I originally was just doing it for spot treatments, 
you know, say here, here, whatever. And then I've noticed that if I use it on my entire face with the moisturizer, then it works much better. And, um, like it does have that smell, which kind of puts me off a little bit, but it actually does work for me, anyways. Everybody's different. It what works for me may not work for you. Um, I and I never use like I never use any type of acne cream more than twice a day. Like I think I did once, three times, but they were like spaced hours apart. I'll usually wash my face in the morning, and then at night. Um. So that way they're, you know, uh, and I also have cream, lots of lotion that I put on my face to help it from drying up. And the third, the third, third slash fourth step, smart third, that I use as a fourth step is the, the hydration, lo the hydrating lotion. And it has, also has slight acid in there. And, um, It's only like a small amount, it's 0.5, it's not even 1%. And then I would suggest when, after you put this on, make, when your face is still slightly wet, put this on, because it helps a lot. And, um, but if it feels, this actually does help with face drying a lot. So, um, yeah. So this is my review of the Clarisol Ultra. I've read somewhere where the old formula worked better on some people, like on Walmart. Yes, well, I got this. I got this at Walmart for about seventeen bucks, and it's okay. It's not that bad. So let me know what you guys use, and. Clear IP products you guys use and what you guys like. And so, um, comment below. And if any questions, comment below or you can email me or whatnot. So, yeah, that's all. Talk to you guys later.